Now, the number of people killed in the train crash in Greece has risen to 57. There have been protests in the country after the crash. Demonstrators clash with police outside the headquarters of the company responsible for maintaining Greece's railways. Three days of national mourning have been declared across the country following the accident in which a passenger train crashed head-on into a freight train, causing the front carriages to burst into flames. Here's our Europe correspondent, Nick Beek. The aftermath of Greece's worst-ever rail disaster. A station master in a nearby city has now been charged with manslaughter by negligence. And already the country's prime minister says tragic human error was to blame. But that has sparked anger overnight, including in the capital Athens, because for years there have been warnings the rail network was not safe. This surgeon, who came out of retirement to help the injured, says the many young lives lost were the victims of systemic failings. It's a disaster, it's a catastrophic thing. Families are crying tonight. Unfortunately, the majority of the, wounded, of the lost people are young students. They left home happy after the long weekend to go for their studies to see, or to see their relatives and never reached their case. This is one of the hospitals where survivors and the injured have been treated. It's also where some family members have been coming to give their DNA in the hope that maybe any sort of samples that are recovered from the scene today will be matched to their loved ones who are still missing. The force of the explosions were captured on camera two fireballs ripping through the carriages. Visiting the wreckage, Greece's transport minister became emotional as he talked about the country's failing train network and later resigned. It's not known exactly how many passengers are missing, but many families now face an agonising wait.